Hi folks, so we're back for our second video in my Learning to Lucid Dream video series. Topic for today is going to be number one on the agenda there, sleep. So every night when we sleep, we sleep in these generally 90 minute chunks. Each one of these 90 minute chunks can be broken up into as many as five stages. And each one of these stages are defined by dominant brain waves, meaning they could put you in a sleep lab, hook you up to EEGs and actually tell what stage of sleep you're in. So we got stage one. Uh, stage one I like to define as a state of deep relaxation. Um, a good hallmark of this stage is if somebody was to wake you up in it, uh, in, in any normal circumstance, the person being woken up would probably report back that they weren't actually sleeping yet, right? They probably were like feeling like they, you know, they were almost there, but they weren't quite considered asleep. So if you ask them, okay, if you weren't sleeping, then what was going on? Well, they are probably lost in thoughts in their head. So what, what this... Um, thought process is called it's called hypnagogia it's essentially a state where mental thoughts and images get a lot more vivid we pass through this every time we're falling asleep so this is always happening um, within and around stage one um, the problem is we normally get to it and not consciously aware of the fact that we're in it while it's happening and this is actually very important I'll come back to it again later on in this training and I think I'll probably even do a whole separate training in the future just specifically on accessing this state uh, while maintaining conscious awareness Then we have stage two, which I like to define as light sleep. Uh, the hallmark of this one is that if somebody was to wake you up in it, pretty much a person would always report back that, yes, they were asleep. Again, though, kind of similar to stage one, um, they're not full on dreaming in this stage. You actually have this other thing going on called dream mentations, which experientially wise, at least from my experience, is still pretty similar to hypnagogia. Basically a state where mental thoughts and images, you know, again, are getting, uh, are getting a lot more vivid. Then we have stages three and four, which nowadays are combined into one. Um, this is basically where your deep, dreamless, restorative sleep happens. Um, although it is generally considered dreamless, it's not always experientially um, deprived of anything. This is also where they say a lot of uh, parasomnias happen, so stuff like, um, you know, bedwetting, sleepwalking, things of that nature. Okay, so then we have stage five, which is where REM happens, right? Rapid eye movement. This is where all the most, you know, classically spoken about dream dreams happen. Uh, so if you ever wonder why they call it rapid eye movement, well, um, your eyes actually tend to look wherever it is you're looking w within the dream, which is actually, interestingly enough, how they proved lucid dreaming was a real thing back in uh, April 12th, 1975. This guy, Dr. Keith Hearn, had these guys in a sleep lab with, you know, who were proficient lucid dreamers. They predetermined a specific eye pattern to give the you signal know, out to the waking world when they were lucid within the dream. And, you know, so they had them in the lab, had them hooked up to the EEG so they knew they were truly in stage five and not just, you know, awake and pretending to be asleep. And then they did like the predetermined um, eye signals back to the waking world to show them that, um, that they were in there and indeed lucid. Other important thing to point out here, though, is that time spent in REM increases with each cycle, with each 90 minute cycle you go through. And this next graph here will kind of illustrate that, uh, illustrate that for you. All right, so um, the things to point out here, let me get my laser pointer out real quick, is that um, when we're sleeping, right, the first 90 minutes, so this is where the REM is happening, really you're only spending maybe, whatever, 10 minutes or so dreaming. As opposed to when you get down to the later chunks of uh, of your sleep, you're really spending a lot more time in REM, so maybe, you know, like up to an hour plus easily, right? Um, the other important thing to point out with this graph, too, is that when we're sleeping, we don't go th from stages through stages one through five every 90 minutes. I mean, it's kind of broken up differently. So, like, the first 90 minutes, we'll do something like stage one, stage two, deep dreamless sleep, stage two, REM. Then we'll go, like, one, two, Dreamless 2, Dreamless 2, REM. Then you're pretty much just like 1, 2, REM, you know, the whole rest, rest of the way out. Um, also, you might see these blue lines here. This stuff is the hypnagogia and hypnopompia stuff. Again, I will be, um, I'll be getting into it in a lot bigger way here in a, in a future training. But cool graphic kind of shows you um, where that stuff lies. Anyway, before I get too far ahead of myself, I think this will be a good way to kind of wrap it up for now. Until the next video, aloha.